אנחנו מטילים מצור מוחלט על העיר עזה. אין חשמל, אין מזון, אין מים, אין דלק. Palestine and Israel have been at war for decades. Arabs and Jewish nationals fought each other bitterly and relentlessly. It was a modern-day religious war. Palestine is in West Asia, or what is also referred to as the Middle East. It is inhabited mostly by Arabs. To one side are the West Asian Arab countries, Syria, Jordan and Lebanon, and on the other lies the African Arab country, Egypt. After the predominantly Jewish state Israel was created in 1948, Palestine was divided into two parts, the Gaza Strip bordering Egypt and the West Bank. But how did a Jewish state come up in a largely Arab region? Like Arabs, Jews were native to the Palestinian region and lived in Palestine when it was known as Judea. This region housed their holy site in Jerusalem, which held religious significance for Muslims as well as Christians. But the Jews emigrated to other parts of the world after facing discrimination by Roman Christians who ruled Palestine in the first century. By the 1300s, European Jews began facing hostilities since their religion was different from Christianity, which was prevalent. They faced genocide when six million Jews were murdered in Europe during the Holocaust in the 1940s. Many survivors migrated back to the land of Jerusalem, Palestine. Meanwhile, Palestine was under the control of Britain from 1917 and its Foreign Secretary Arthur James Balfour issued a declaration to favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. Many Arabs denounced it as colonialism because the British backed their settlement. As the only successful example of large-scale colonization in recent years, the Commission is studying the 20-year-old Jewish settlements in British-mandated Palestine. The Arabs began resisting the move and the British couldn't control the violence. Even though they continued to govern Palestine, they handed over the reins to the United Nations. In 1947, a UN proposal divided the land in three parts, an Arab state, a Jewish state and Jerusalem which would stay under UN administration. This led to the creation of Israel in 1948. The UN proposal allocated 55% of the land to the minority Jews. This upset the Arabs, who were about twice the size in population compared to the Jews. A war broke out the same year with neighboring Arab armies entering Palestine. Israel defeated its opposing forces. It became an independent state. More than half of the Palestinian people were permanently displaced during the war. This event is remembered by Palestinians as the Nakba, meaning catastrophe. The 2,000-year-old dream of a Jewish state in Palestine was born out of violence and bloodshed, suffering and tragic death. By the end of the war, Israel, which had been initially allotted 55% of land, ended up with 77% of it. The Arabs, who remained in Israel, became a minority population with majority Jews. Jews. Then, in 1967, Israel fought three Arab countries, Egypt, Syria and Jordan, to oppose the mobilization of anti-Israel forces. Israel defeated them and took control of Jerusalem, Gaza and the West Bank, further diminishing the size of Palestine. Eleven years later, with the mediation of the then-American President Jimmy Carter, Egypt got back its Sinai Peninsula from Israel and became the first Arab country to recognize Israel's statehood. The first time Israel and Palestine came close to a resolution was in 1993. The Palestinian Liberation Organization, which is one of the two major political parties of Palestine called Fatah, represented the Palestinian people. PLO leader Yasser Arafat and Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin signed the Oslo Accords at the White House in 1993. Through this peace treaty, the PLO recognized Israel as a state and both sides agreed to create a Palestinian authority. authority to govern the West Bank and Gaza. An Israeli right-wing extremist Yigal Amir assassinated Israeli PM Rabin in 1995 to oppose the signing of the Oslo Accords. The peace treaty did not eventually materialize and the Arab-Israeli conflict continued. From 2002, Israel started building a wall around the West Bank saying it was to counter terrorism. Palestinians called it illegal land grabbing and saw it as a means of racial segregation. In 2003, the International Court of Justice said these illegal measures measures by Israel breached the Palestinians' right to self-determination. Yaakov, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. 
I didn't do this. But you're not helping. It's you're... easy to yell at me, but I didn't do this. Yeah, you are helping. stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No, no one, no one uh, uh, is allowed to steal it. In 2023, Hamas, which was an armed resistance group and a political party in Palestine, launched rockets into Israel from Gaza. The U.S. government had designated Hamas a terrorist organization in 1997. They took over Israeli military tanks and abducted soldiers and civilians. And as Israel retaliated, over a thousand people died on both sides. Thank you.